name is Amanda. Welcome to my channel. So this is my October empties and it's not a lot of stuff. I mean, it's a decent amount of stuff, but it's not a lot of stuff. So October was a bit of a rough month for me, but you know, I got some products out. I didn't hit my monetary goal for the month, but I did get some products out and that's the whole point. And goals are meant to be hard. So it's expected, you know, at this point in my panning journey that I'm not going to hit every single goal that I make, you know, but it is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with some products that I finished. This is in really no particular order, but they are all in front of me. This right here is the It's a 10 Miracle Deep Conditioner plus Keratin. This was a two fluid ounce sample. I'm not a huge fan of the It's a 10 line. It kind of just makes my hair... And it kind of just, it just, just kind of makes it oily sometimes, kind of dries it out. I don't know. But that one, it was all right. I mean, it was the best out of the other stuff, but I would never purchase it or anything. That's for sure. I finally finished this big makeup brush cleaner, my Cinema Secrets. I still have more. You guys know I have more. But I did go ahead and finish this big guy. And this right here is the Cashmere Glow by Bath & Body Works. And I love this, but I'm so over body sprays. This was a gift, and I really appreciate the gift, but I'm just, I'm kind of over body sprays at this point, because they just don't last long, really, at all, but that is a really nice scent. Okay, let's see, what else? This right here is the Clarisonic brush head, and I just ended up putting it into the replacement box, and I'm not going to show you guys, because it's gross. Every time I go ahead and replace my brush head, I say to myself, ew, why didn't I go ahead and... And do this sooner because you know you go ahead you take it off and then you put the new one on and you compare the two and you're like ew that is gross so I don't go ahead and change this every three months like you're supposed to yeah every three months I change it like every six months because they're kind of pricey but you know it is what it is I guess I always get them at the Ulta uh, 21 days of beauty sale I didn't do that this year but I do still have some so I'm good all right, I finished this OPI Brilliant uh, High Shine top coat right here. And this is the one that I used the Born Pretty Glitter in. And so I have this right here, this Born Pretty Glitter. It was gold and he took the clear one, put it in there. This one was really thin. The Brilliant High Shine top coat is very, very thin. So it took a while to go ahead and get through it, but I did and I'm glad that I did because that was getting kind of old. I'm kind of sad about this guys. I'm really kind of sad about this, but I finished the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 uh, foundation. This was my last one in my collection, but I did go ahead and purchase uh, a replacement. I, re I just decided I wanted to go ahead and try other foundations. And right now I'm using the Milani and I absolutely love the Milani and it's so much cheaper. It's like third of the price. And that's whenever it's not even on sale. So I am, quite content with changing the Mac to this. It's kind of weird that I'm doing it, but I'm so glad because just, you know, practically $30 and 10. Big difference, big difference. Uh, I have the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. This one is one full an ounce and, and I actually took a long time to use up. Kind of surprised, but I don't like these types of containers that have this at the top, I'd like to have just like a small pump or something. I don't know. There's always something about samples I don't like, but either way, I used it up. So there you go. That's pretty much what it is. This right here is the Becca First Light uh, Priming Powder or Priming Filter um, Face Primer. And I lost the lid to it, but I did go ahead and finish it. And I do like it. I've used these samples before and, you know, they're pretty good. I like them. Uh, this right here is the Ulta Peppermint Moisturizing Foot Mask. And then I ended up using some more eye masks. And then I used, and there's more eye masks. Uh, there, this is the La Roche uh, Lipicar Balm Intense Repair Moisturizing Cream. I ended up using that on my feet. Uh, it was just, I didn't want it on my face. I really kind of just wanted it like on my legs and on my feet. So that's how I used it. And let's see, I've got... This right here, this is the Mint 
sparkling foot peeling socks. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the eyeshadow that I went through and I'm pretty happy about it. This right here is, well, all of these are going to be Darling Girl until I say so. This right here is Enchanting Elba. This one is from the Dexter collection and this one is just, we're going to call it Mother. And this one is Low Key. This one is Mystified. This one is, we're just going to call it Sweet Mar Mary. This one is called The Babysitter and the Man Upstairs. This one is called Black Hole Sun. And then I've got this Kat Von D eyeshadow in Thunderstruck. And I just, I'm so proud of this uh, because these are big and I finally finished it. It took me since January 1st of using this. It took me that long and I miss it. This is this is just absolutely gorgeous as an inner quarter highlight, as a face highlight, everything. I love this eyeshadow so much. And it's double the size. It's 0.1 ounces. So yeah, this one took me a long time and I'm not even mad about it. I'm sad that it was gone. And I finished uh, an eyeliner, but I don't, now that I think about it, I don't think it was this one. And it's in my, it, it, it'll be in my big box of makeup empties. But I finished the Glittering Star Liner, and this one has stars on it, and I thought that this was it. Maybe this is it. I don't know. I don't know, but it was a pencil liner. Um, huh, huh, I don't know. But it's gone. That counts for something, right? It's got to count for something. Uh, let's see. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? What else did I finish? I showed that. I showed that. Uh, I think that's all. I think that is all. No, no, there's something missing. I knew there was something missing. This is the Coastal Scents Interfine Red Mica Powder that I finished. And I ended up using this as a blush topper. And I thought that that was really nice and fun. So I did that a lot with the Kat Von D Alchemist palette. So, and these are very, very, very similar to that. So that's how I use that one up. So that is all of my empties for the month of October. And as far as the total is concerned, let me go ahead and look that up for you. So for the month of October, I used up $193.45. So obviously, my eye burns, okay? I ended up scratching my eye and it burns. So I'm going to look silly for a second. You know, this is real life. This, this is the kind of stuff that happens. So... My total that I try to achieve every single month is $291.66 and at the end of the year that should get me to $3,500. So let's hope that I'm going to make it, but I think I'm going to make it to $3,000 to be honest. I guess we'll go ahead and see and man my eye is burning right now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this video looking just like this because it is what it is. It's burning and it's watering. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. My eye will thank you very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!